Hello guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll be exploring the Legon Sports Stadium, probably the last time before the opening ceremony on March 8th. Works on the track seem to have been completed. That is to talk of the installation of the Mondo track, painting of the markings for the lanes, some new mural paintings being done in the stadium, this and many more coming up next in today's video. So do stay to the end. Before we start, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already. Click on the notification bell to be notified each time we upload a new video. Like today's video share so other people can see and also feel free to watch other videos on our channel so let's do a quick recap on my last visit to the stadium this was how work was going on the athletics track so at the time the workers were busily laying the track so this is the entry point if you are entering into the vip area so we see a worker up in the green fixing this material that looks like blankets at the exterior of the stadium i'll show you the reason why they are fixing these materials there so using this entry point to enter you are met with these two elevators that leads you to either the ground floor or the second floor. So on the corridor behind the VIP stands, there is this cafeteria. And I don't know if this cafeteria is meant to provide food services or drink services or even both. So this is how the blinds appear from inside and its main purpose is to reduce the amount of sunlight that gets access into the rooms and offices on this side of the stadium. So this side appears to be like a storage room for the cafeteria. Yeah, so right there on the right is where the washroom is. So above us on the roof are fittings of the PE system and light as well. So let's try and have access to the washroom and see how it looks like. So the first on the right is a disabled washroom or what you may call the physically challenged washroom. And the lighting system in here are automated. So before I entered it was off. Immediately I opened the door and entered, the light came up by itself. So there is this red hanging rope and there is an inscription that comes with it. So it's more like an emergency system if you are using the washroom and you find yourself in a very distressed situation. You just pull the rope then it will prompt whoever is in charge to come to your aid. So fast forward even before we were done with the washroom tours, the cafeteria had been stocked with cocktail tables and chairs. Now back to continue with our washroom tour. This side of the washroom is for people who are not physically challenged. So there are two in total with two sinks as well. And even from the washroom you can still have a peep on what's going on on the field thanks to this window. Now let's quickly go down the stairs and explore furthermore. So on this facility there are two modes of access to access the various floors. So it's either you use the elevator to access one floor from the other or use the staircase. So for the art lovers who are watching this video, you'd be very happy to see how the contractors are filling almost every empty space with colorful art pieces in the stadium. So the scaffolds are here to set this wall ready for a new art piece. This mural paint is in a very strategic location in the stadium. It is being painted on the left side of the main VIP entrance. Painting on the right side is complete and this is how it looks like. So this appears to be representing the warm hospitable nature of Ghanaians. Right side of the walkway into the VIP area, this is what is being painted there. More like a conceptual painting with a number of hands holding each other with African map in between the hands. Well with this painting, I leave the interpretation to you. Let me know in the comment section what you think this painting means. Now back into the studio, this section you are seeing is a press box. The only difference between the press box and the other part of the stands is that with this area you have a collapsible table in front of you. Put your laptop on the table in front and start working. So fun fact, if you are an aviation lover, you would love to be in the stadium. So from the stadium you could do plane sporting. This is because of the close proximity from the stadium to the airport in Accra. Now onto the lane markings. So from this visual you can see that the lanes are almost entirely painted out with a few ones remaining to complete the entire athletics track. 
Here you see that 5 links have already been marked out with a few more left to complete the entire track. And these are the guys doing the track markings. Their work looks very simple but very crucial for the track's condition of the All-African Games. Because with their work, there shouldn't be any room for compromises. Their goal is to demarcate perfect and accurate lines for athletic tracks. Personally, their work looks very boring. How can you be going around the stadium at this walking pace for God knows how long and how many times? Anyway, that's just by the way. So the equipment they are using is in two folds. One is what houses the paint or chemical or whatever they are using to paint the lines. And the other one is a pump or just like the water pump we are used to. That is what powers and provides a force that pushes the paint onto the tracks. Let me know in the comment section how you will reach the overall works on the stadium on a scale of 1 to 10. I believe you enjoyed this video. If you did, kindly give it a thumbs up, like, share it to other people. Feel free to watch other videos on this channel. And as always, stay positive and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.